Hello everyone, welcome to NG Classes YouTube channel for a video lecture series on digital signal processing. In the previous lecture, we considered uh, for the order n equal to 2 and we, we proved its Butterworth polynomial is going to be this value. In this video, what we do is we'll consider uh, for the order of n equal to 3 and we'll prove its Butterworth polynomial is going to be this. Is that okay? So that part we'll consider in this video. And uh, we all know that the transfer function uh, or the Butterworth polynomial, let me write the Butterworth polynomial uh, B3 of S. So B3 of S is equal to S minus S0, S minus S1 and S minus S2. So this is the Butterworth polynomial for n equal to 3. And uh, we have got even 3 more poles but they are going to be right half plane poles that we will not consider and we will consider only LHP that is left half plane poles S0, S1 and S2. Uh, we just have to find what is S0, S1, S2 and uh, put them over here simplify it so that I am going to get the Butterworth polynomial for n equal to 3. So that part we will consider now. So therefore what is S0? S0 is equal to 1 at an angle of theta0. Similarly let me write for S1. S1 is also 1 at an angle of theta1 and what is S2? S2 is 1 at an angle of theta2. So what are these values? So 1 at an angle of theta0. Theta0 is 2 pi divided by 3. Theta1 is 1 at an angle of pi and theta2 this is 1 at an angle of 4 pi divided by 3. Solve this, you will get the value. So how do we solve this? I can solve this using uh, Euler's uh, formula. 2 pi by 3, I can write it as cos 2 pi by 3 plus j sine 2 pi by 3. So if I do that, I am going to get it as minus 1 by 2 plus j uh, root 3 divided by 2. Similarly, this uh, cos pi plus j sine pi, cos pi is minus 1, I get it as minus 1. And cos 4 pi by 3 plus j sine 4 pi by 3. If I do that, I am going to get minus 1 by 2 minus j root 3 divided by 2. So these are S0, S1 and S2. These are the poles. So now, therefore, I can write B3 of S is equal to. So I will consider the formula S minus S0 and S minus S0. S0 is this value. It is 1 divided by 2 minus j root 3 divided by 2. So this is S minus S0. So now I'll consider S minus S1. S1 is minus 1. I'll get it as S plus 1. Similar to the last one S minus S2. S2 is this. So just put the value. I'm going to get it as S plus 1 by 2 plus j uh, root 3 divided by so I need to simplify this further. So S plus 1, it looks like a constant term, I'll uh, put it out. So in the sense, I'll consider this and this. It looks like A plus uh, B and A minus B which is equal to A square minus B square. In place of A I have this, in place of B I have this. So therefore I'll consider A plus B that is, as, uh, that is uh, A square. A square is S plus uh, 1 by 2 square. A square minus b square in place of b we have j root 3 by 2 square so this is a and this is b as i said earlier so this i have simplified this gets multiplied with the term s plus 1 so i just keep it as it is so let me simplify this further uh, how does that look like so just have to square it is it is a plus b whole square it is a square s square plus 1 by 4 plus uh, 2ab. I'm going to get yes. Correct. I don't need a bracket now anymore. So what is this? j square. J square. What is j square? j square is nothing but uh, minus 1. Minus of minus it becomes plus. Uh, root 3 by 2 square. It is the 3 by 4. It is going to be 3 by 4. So I'll just put the bracket for this and uh, later I have s plus 1 as it is. So next, can I simplify this? Yes, this s square plus s plus 1 by 4 and plus 3 by 4 is nothing but 4 by 4 which is going to be 1. So I'm going to get s square plus s plus 1 gets multiplied with s plus 1. So this I call it as 
but our polynomial for n equal to 3 is that the same what I have prepared in the table yes it is the same very much same so this is how we prove uh, but our polynomial b3 of s equal to this much and I can also write the transfer function h3 of s is equal to 1 divided by s square plus s plus 1 gets multiplied with s plus 1. So this is the transfer function which has been written in the factored form. So this is how we prove Butterworth polynomial for n equal to uh, 3. Uh, hope you people have understood. If there are any doubts, please let me know them onto the comment section and I will definitely address those uh, doubts. Meanwhile, subscribe to our channel NG Classes for more videos on digital signal processing. Thank you everyone for watching.